Hi guys, my name is Stephen. I'm a yoga and meditation teacher, and it's my pleasure today to help you with some desk yoga. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a little bit tense around my neck, around my shoulders, around my lower back, and around my hips and wrists, actually. And that's all to do with working at home. That's all to do with too much of this on the computer, on the phone. And really, sometimes it's quite nice to actually just do a more simple practice. It doesn't have to be the power practice all the time. So today I wanted to show you some nice stretches that you can do sitting at your desk. You don't have to get on the floor. You don't have to really go for it. It's a 15 minute session, which will really help some mobility. Sometimes yoga is actually about mobility rather than the real flexibility or the real power poses. So let's start with the neck, okay? Um, stiff necks, very common at the moment. So I'm in my chair. I'm gonna come forward slightly and I'm just gonna sit nice and upright. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna take the left side of my head. Now, what I'm doing is I'm not collapsing. I'm nice and straight, I'm just at the edge of the chair and I'm gonna pull my head over to the right. I take my left arm down. I just leave that just suspended there for a moment. Now in this position, we're just gonna work with the breath. So we're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. Now, with this left hand, grab under the chair, grab hold of something and just pull over. At the same time, fastening your hand onto something under the chair, we're just gonna take it a little bit further. So feeling the stretch now down the left side of the neck a little bit more, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, good, release. Now really feel that left side of the neck, just ease off a bit, good. We go the other side, so we take the left hand on the outside, on the right side of the head, making sure right arm is dropped, making sure we're nice and straight. Again, not overarched, not collapsed, just nice straight alignment. And we pull the head over, this time to the left. And now feel that opening down the inside again of the right side of the neck. So breathing in through the nose for one, and out through the mouth two, and out through the mouth, three, and out through the mouth. Good, now, stage further, take right hand, take it under the chair, grab hold of something, and then just make a micro movement further over to the left and feel the extent of the stretch down the side of the neck, feel that, good. Give me three breaths here, breathing in for one, and out, in through nose for two, and out, final breath in, and out, good. Now bring the head back slowly, okay. So now we're gonna do a couple of neck rolls. So just place your hands on your knees, and then we're gonna start just rolling in a clockwise direction, and we start quite small actually, we just spin around. We don't do the full extent of the motion, we just ease our way in gradually, okay? Starting comfortably, and then we start to widen the circle. So we're looking round over the shoulder, the chin comes down to the chest, looking over the other shoulder, head coming all the way back. A bigger rotation, a wider arc of a circle, good. So enjoy the movement, make it slow, make it deliberate, and just feel where the tension is on the way round, be inquisitive. And now we're gonna introduce the breath, so we breathe in through the nose as we come up, and out through the mouth, as we come down. In through the nose on the way up. Out through the mouth on the way down. Good, should feel really quite liberating then back to the center. Now we go the other way. But we start small, we start simple, and we take our time. Gradually moving around. Nothing too strenuous, and then we Start to widen the circumference of the circle, rotating round, coming down, good. Feel your way in, maybe you're gonna feel this coming down the shoulders a little bit. Looking all the way up, looking all the way round. But slow is definitely the way to do this one. Finally, breath in on the way up. And exhaling on the way down. Breathing in. And out on the way down. Good. Now, on this final circle, 
Can you find the tightest point in your neck? Where is that? Oh, I found it there. So hold the point and just breathe in there for three breaths. And out. Breathing in. And out. Breathing in. And out. Great. Okay. Now for the silliest activity that you will see for the neck. Um, so we're going to come to the front of the seat and this is called chicken neck. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to keep everything else still. I just stretch my head forward and back like that. Inhaling back, exhaling forward. This one really great for the scaling muscles at the back of the neck. Good. Come back round. Okay, final last neck stretches. So we take the head in the hands. We come to the front of the seat again and we bring the chest forward. But we make sure that the back is nice and straight. Okay, we're not collapsing again. Stomach slightly engaged. We bring the chin forward. And as we do so, we try and touch the elbows and we feel that lovely stretch coming down both sides of the neck and at the base of the shoulders. Slowing the breathing down. Good. Gradually come back up. And then the final stretch we'll do here is a simple figure of eight. It's a bit like you are rowing a boat. So head in the hands again, and it's just drawing a figure of eight with the elbows, keeping the back upright. There's a little bit of a collapse as we come in and we swing round, filling this now down some of the shoulders as well. Also working at the back of the neck, we can reverse the direction. Breathing and back. Great, so that's the neck done. Okay, now let's move on to the shoulders. I'm just going to turn my chair so you can see exactly what I'm going to do. So we're going to start with some shoulder rolls. So I'm coming to the front of the seat here. All I'm doing is I'm rolling my shoulders. And again, look how everything else is still. OK, I'm really trying to isolate the shoulders here. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. So really feel that movement, feel that lovely liberating roll of the shoulders. If you've been hunched forward all day like this, this is your chance to correct yourself. Okay, good. Now let's go the other direction. Rolling the other way. Breathing in on the way up and down on the way out. Okay back to the center. So from here, I'm gonna take my hands forward like this. I lift them up and I exhale, I come all the way around in this lovely wide arc, back to my lap. Breathing in, lift, exhale. Nice wide arc with the arms. Breathing in, lift, and all the way out, lovely space in the shoulders and the chest, coming all the way down. Hands forward, hands up, all the way around, keeping the rest of the body very still during this posture. So back nice and straight, nice good alignment here, stomach slightly engaged, breathing in, hands forward, lifting up, and coming out nice and wide. Good, we'll do three more. Hands forward, hands up, lovely nice wide arc. Feel the chest and the shoulders and the back of the shoulders. Breathing in, come up, and all the way around. Last one, hands forward, lifting up, and all the way round, very nice, good. Okay, from here, we're gonna come into a slightly more focused motion. So, arms are just at my waist, I'm gonna come forward in the chair slightly, and I just rotate my arms like this. Everything else is still. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. So now I'm getting into the chest and around the top of the shoulders, inhaling, exhaling. Everything else is still, it's a very targeted motion, inhaling, Exhaling. 
Inhaling. So you're really getting some nice rotation in the shoulders here. Opening in the chest too. Three more, inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Great. So now let's grab the phone. I had to do an exercise with the phone. Otherwise we just, we would see the phone as totally evil. But here we're gonna use the phone to actually help us. So we come to the front of the chair. Now we take the phone like this, and all I'm doing is I'm twisting. But as I'm doing, my elbows are nice and high. It's about the top of my chest here. And as I twist, I keep everything else still. I twist one way, come back, I twist the other way. So this is really for the thoracic spine. It's a really great motion just to get some flexibility, a bit of a release in the upper back. Exhaling out, inhaling back. Exhaling out, shoulders nice and high. Inhaling back, keeping the elbows lifted. Exhaling out, inhaling back. Exhaling out, inhaling back. Exhaling out, twist, inhaling back. So head moves at the same rate as the body. Everything's going the same way. It's just this lovely twisting motion. Inhaling back, exhaling out, inhaling back. Good. Drop the phone, leave the phone behind. Okay, next exercise with a bit of cactus arms. So arms are out wide here. We're sitting nice and tall in the chair, coming back in the chair a bit, and just bring the elbows in. Simple motion. Everything else is still. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. Good, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, two more, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Okay, let's try cat-cow. I bet you've never seen a cat-cow on a chair before, but you can do it. So come forward on the chair, we arch the back, and then we come forward like this. Arch the back, and then we come forward, collapsing the back, pushing the chest forward. It really is like doing a cat-cow, but it's kind of upside down. Coming down, coming up. So really nice movement in the thoracic spine, be able to move it in the lower back, collapsing down, coming up. Give me one, two, three. Great. And now we'll move into some other stretches. So perhaps we'll just do a little bit of a lower back stretch. So we're gonna come onto the edge of the chair and I'm gonna come onto the balls of my feet and it looks like I'm doing a chair pose. And I'm just leaning forward slightly. I'm on my, the balls of my feet, my heels are lifted. And as I do so, I'm gonna feel quite a nice stretch down the lower back. So you can actually even stretch the lower back while seated. So just hold here for a few breaths. And again, we're getting this nice stretch in the shoulder. So we just hold this for one, two, Three, four, five. Good, coming down, coming out of that one. Okay, come to the front. So now let's just do a couple of wrist stretches. Wrists don't get much love in yoga, so this is a great opportunity to give them a stretch. Left hand forward, take the fingers with the right hand and just pull them back, but please take care. So you should feel some stretching here down the inside of the wrist and also the fingers nicely separating from the top of the hand. So you're gonna feel the, the fingers release and you're gonna feel the inside of the wrist release. So just find a point that is tense. You should not feel pain. You should not feel burning. It should just feel like a dull ache and a bit of tension. When we find that point, we start to breathe. Focusing more on the exhale. On the exhalation, the body will let go. Breathing in. Breathing in and out. Last breath in and out. Great, so dropping down. Now we go on the other side, so pick up the right hand, bring it forward, take the left hand, pull the fingers back, open the front of that right wrist. Feel the fingers release. You should feel quite a nice sensation in those fingers. Again, let's connect with the breathing. Breathing in and out. 
Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Great. So just taking the hands, interlocking the fingers. Let's just give it a little bit of a roll of the wrist one way and then the other way. So a few kicks and crunches in the base of the wrist. That's fine. Okay. Second stretch. This time we take the left hand forward. This time we drop the hand. This time we come onto the outside and this time we pull the fingers back this way. So take care. You're going to feel the stretch on the top of the wrist and at the base of the connection with the wrist and the hand. So again, let's just find our breath. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Slowly dropping the hand. Now let's go on the other side, right hand up, wrist comes down towards, hand drops down. We take the left hand pulling back the, the top of the hand to the inside of the right wrist, feeling the stretch down the top of the wrist this time. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Great. And then final stretch for the wrists, hands together again, just a little bit of location, a little bit of rotation this way and then the other way. Okay. We've just got a few more stretches now, then we're almost done. Okay, so next let's just do a little bit for the side body. I think it could do with a little bit of a stretch even when we're sitting down. So I want you to pick up your hands in this position and you can just lean over. So making sure that the body is not collapsing here, that we're nice and maybe come forward on the chair a little bit and just lean over, first of all, to the right hand side. So arms nice and straight and feeling that stretch coming down the inside of the right side and also coming down into the lower back, perhaps down the lats. So just holding for five four, three, two, one. Coming back to the middle. Now going on the other side, pulling over. Make sure again that you're nice and straight. You're just twisting the side body, just pulling over for one, two, three, four, five. Good. And then just from here, we're gonna just do a simple motion where we just come over this way and then the other way. So just a couple of movements, one side, and then the other side, just introducing a little bit of mobility. So this area here, this side body doesn't really get much love. We don't move with the side body, so it can accumulate quite a lot of tension. Okay, final stretch, we're just gonna do a little bit of hips. Yes, that's right, we can do hips as well. So we're gonna do a come into a seated pigeon. So I place my right ankle on top of my left knee. Doesn't matter if you're tight in the hips, doesn't matter if you're flexible in the hips. We're just gonna come down, you just place a little bit of weight and really just take care here. So coming down onto that right knee and dropping down a little bit. Now you're gonna feel the external rotation in the back on the outside of the right hip. So coming down, maybe just slightly activating that right foot, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Good, slowly coming up. We'll just go on the other side. Final stretch on this side. So placing left ankle, now on top of right knee. See where you are, nice and tall to start with and just gradually navigating your way down. Feeling the external rotation now in the left hip, seated pigeon. It does work. You can really get into the hips even in this position. So coming down, we'll take three nice long breaths here, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Great. And that was desk yoga. We didn't even get up off the chair. Great, eh? So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a very pleasant rest of the day, whatever you're doing. And remember, you can do yoga sitting on a chair. You don't have to get up. It's good for you. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope to see you some other time. Thank you very much.